What does this say about the power and the threat of Airbnb? Well, I, I'm so glad you brought that up because I think that that really is sort of the competitive threat out there. And we don't know what Airbnb's numbers are, right? We and I've never used Airbnb. You've used Airbnb. I use it all bunch, the time. Right. I've used both. And and oh, and so and. You like? I prefer, from a user experience, I prefer Airbnb. I think that HomeAway still has better inventory. It's just more difficult to use. Yeah, so HomeAway's been talking the last few quarters about a partnership with Expedia a lot. In fact, I went back and looked at all of the financial filings, all the 10Ks and 10Qs for Expedia, and, or, sorry, for HomeAway, and in every one they cite their biggest uh, challenger as Expedia. Hmm. But when you look at the sales growth, for home away, you can see the growth in their business is slowing down despite a big partnership uh, with Expedia in a Europe, which has helped their sales growth quite a bit. In the quarter they're just reporting today, 13% year over year sales growth, a little bit better than the trend. But they announced some really big business changes. And underneath this acquisition, they announced they're going to start adding a new service fee for users. Mm -hmm. They're going to lower their commission rates that they're charging the pay per booking customers. And they're going to offer some sort of affinity some, uh, uh, to their frequent customers. So they're making a bunch of changes to their business, but it, as you mentioned, it's a very big business. They had over 272 million bookings just in the last quarter. So that's big. Airbnb right. may be even bigger. The question is, is bigger always better?